Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day or night in Jesus. Thank you so much for being here. Please subscribe, check out our other videos. We've got a few thousand and join us daily. Hey, we're going to be looking today. Let's see what the subject is. Does free will exist? Does free will exist? Now, I've been reading a lot of things and watching some videos from a secular perspective from an evolutionary perspective that says free will does not exist that we're a clump of of atoms molecules that got together and we can't help how we act and then of course there's a large segment in the broad christian community broad sense of that term that would believe that free will doesn't exist either and there's kind of a middle ground between predestination and free will called molinism and then there's even some subdividing inside of those uh, categories as well but i've been thinking a lot about that this free will exist and some of the terrible things that could lead to okay so first of all you ask the question does free will exist and you say no well if you don't have free will you had to say no <laughs> and if you if somebody says yes free will exist but then you really think free will doesn't exist somebody else well why are you mad because they had to say yes if free will doesn't exist then our answers this becomes kind of a nonsensical question and then where does responsibility come in you know you can people can do all kinds of horrible things maybe somebody ultra rich or several ultra rich well free will doesn't exist we have to do that we have to dominate everybody governments tyrants dictators on and on and so forth and you know maybe somebody gets some crazy idea and, and wants to to do harm to those people well i had to do it because free will doesn't exist so everything it becomes absurd there was some latin term i used to study philosophy a lot years ago you know about the absurdum or infantitum absurd i can't remember the little phraseology now but it really is true because everything becomes absurd because uh if there is no free will and does the no free will does this extend to the animal kingdom as well because they're just random conglomerations of uh, atoms and molecules also so when you say dog sit well if, if he has no free will then he's going to do whatever he's going to do regardless of what you say and it just doesn't matter nothing matters it's just the whole world becomes absurd if there's no such thing as free will you're watching this video you had no choice if there's no free will you didn't watch the video because you had no choice if there's no free will whatever you did whatever your station in life if you have no free will nothing matters because you have no choice in the matter if you say well i'm just going to check out of life well of course you are because you that was your you were predestined to do that you didn't have free will to do anything else well i'm going to study nuclear physics of course you are because you didn't have any free will you have no choice in the matter and so it just it becomes a theater of the absurd uh everything does if there's no free will you know um and so i can see it again being used as a justification for the most heinous of crimes and of course the bible uh, teaches personal responsibility that people have responsibilities for their actions so think linear uh you know in a linear fashion on this that if there is no free will then the people that maybe are trying to subjugate you couldn't help themselves they didn't have any free will so you can't blame them and uh you know uh you didn't have you you do some horrible sin you sin against your family or something like that and it's just a bad thing well why why you feel guilt you don't have any free will where is guilt with no free will you know you couldn't help yourself you just you had to do it you're an alcoholic oh well you didn't have any free will you just had to do that you're addicted to gambling oh well you had to do that and so again it just becomes this crazy thing 
And, you, you know, you get up in the morning. Do I want to pray? Do I want to read the Bible? Do I want to exercise a little bit? Bodily exercise profits a little. Do it a little. And uh, profit of a little. And, well, how do you know? You, you, you know, if there's no free will, you don't know if you're going to follow the Bible or not. And, uh, well, maybe because I have this desire to follow the Bible, that's my no free will. Okay, well, you didn't have a free will to do that, so you're just doing it. You're not virtuous at all because you're just doing it because you couldn't help yourself. There's, you know, you couldn't. Should I give $5 to the widow lady that's broke or not? Well, if you have no free will, just whatever comes to mind, just do it. And you couldn't have helped yourself anyhow. because you, you, you have no control of the will at all. So there's a ton of implications getting into severe, horrible implications if there is no free will. And I think this teaching, and I'm talking more not necessarily from a theological viewpoint, but from an evolutionary viewpoint, that the law of unintended consequences could happen here and that people could begin appealing to this scientifically in courtrooms that there is no standard of right and wrong. Because how could you have a standard of right and wrong? Case of Ross Ra, whatever it will be, will be. He didn't have any free will. Of, you know, I, I stole hundreds of thousands of dollars. Can't get me. I'm just a random conglomeration of atoms. I couldn't help it. Just did it. Nothing I could do about it. I mean, you can see it, it just gets into a horrible thing. So, yes, there's free will. God bless. I love you. I'll see you later. Bye bye.